I remember being the headline of every newspaper and magazine. And everything I read about myself was damning. I was called a whore and a witch. One headline compared me to Satan. I said, wait a minute. Isn't Prince running around with fishnets and high heels and lipstick with his butt hanging out? Yes, he was. But he was a man. This was the first time I truly understood that women really did not have the same freedom as men. I remember feeling paralyzed. It took me a while to pull myself together and get on with my creative life, to get on with my life. I took comfort in the poetry of Maya Angelou, in the writings of James Baldwin, and in the music of Nina Simone. I remember wishing that I had a female peer that I could look to for support. Camille Paglia, the famous feminist writer, said that I set women back by objectifying myself sexually. Oh, I thought, so if you're a feminist, you don't have sexuality, you deny it. So I said, F it. I'm a different kind of feminist. I'm a bad feminist. People say that I'm so controversial, but I think the most controversial thing I have ever done is to stick around. What I would like to say to all the women here today is this. Women have been so oppressed for so long they believe what men have to say about them. And they believe they have to back a man to get the job done. And there are some very good men worth backing, but not because they're men, because they're worthy. As women, we have to start appreciating our own worth and each other's worth. Seek out strong women to befriend to align yourself with, to learn from, to be inspired by, to collaborate with, to support, to be enlightened by. As I said before, it's not so much about receiving this award as it is having this opportunity to stand before you and really say thank you as a woman, as an artist, as a human not only to the people who have loved and supported me along the way, so many of you are sitting in front of me right now, you have no idea. No. You have no idea how, how much your support means. But to the doubters, the naysayers, to everyone who gave me hell and said I could not, that I would not, that I must not, your resistance made me stronger. <laughs>